22 outstanding Bahamians are the latest among a prestigious group to receive the Queen's birthday honors for 2016. Governor General Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Penling confirmed the honors at Government House. Clint Watson reports. It might be the last of the decades-old tradition issuing the Queen's honors now that government has approved through Parliament the adoption of our own local honors. Mount Fitzwilliam was filled with the hats, gloves and suits as families and well-wishers of the more than 20 honorees walked the red carpet to Her Majesty's representative, Her Excellency the Governor-General, to receive their awards. While four honorees, Sir Franklin Wilson, Sir Edward Charles Carter, Dame Anita Allen and Leonard Johnson, CMG, opted to make private arrangements to receive their honor in London, in. The remaining were invested by Governor General Dame Marguerite Pindling, a government house. In areas such as culture, drama, religion, civic services, music, business and commerce, craft and entrepreneurship, community service and law enforcement, the 2016 Queen's birthday honorees gladly accepted the awards for the areas that have made them iconic and noted citizens. I've been a police officer for 37 years and I never served with an end game in mind to be honored by my country. I simply believe that for me it was uh, my destiny to serve and I believe that as I do now, then, that it was ministry. And so it's very, very humbling. Oh, I feel it's a big privilege. They say I work for it, but actually it's the people surrounding me. I was the uh, first one to export from the Bahamas to the uh, Red Lobster chain, and I've been doing that for some 35, 40 years. I, I sell them a million pounds a year. The awardees make history as being among the final Bahamians to receive such prestigious awards, but some see the migration to local honors as a necessary move for an independent country. I would like to see us have our own award system of the highest honor. All of the other countries of the world, they have their award systems and they're well appreciated by, by their citizens. And I think that we should move in that direction as well. Uh, this is a part of our own national development. Uh, we have been an independent country now for over 40 years, and it's appropriate that it should happen. Uh, it's a natural transition, uh, and uh, those of us who have had the opportunity of being honored by Her Majesty uh, well recognize that they were honors of which were bestowed on the recommendation of the government of the Bahamas. And uh, the big distinction now is going to be is that those um, honors will be awarded locally uh, based on the same principles um, as the British honors. Governor General Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pinling and Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie saluted the group of astute Bahamians for their service to nation building. It's a day where the nation pauses long enough to recognize the contributions of an enduring and meaningful defining in some instances nature of those who have been honored. It is a worthy, worthy, worthy um, recognition and we truly hope that our nation stands in full appreciation of all that you represent. This ceremony is a way of saying thank you for the many sacrifices you have made on behalf of others and for the excellence of spirit and industry which you demonstrate in working to build a community and thus unite our people. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.